Hey guys, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. Well, right before I was coming out to grab some firewood on this cold, wet, dreary day, I was looking at the news a little bit, and I just saw that uh, Silicon Valley Bank just defaulted. You may be thinking, who? What does that matter? Big news, guys. This is one of the top 20 banks in the country as far as assets are concerned. Uh, so they defaulted. They're not able to pay. They're not able to pay back uh, investors and um, people who have money in the bank. Uh, this is a true SHTF moment for these guys because they can. If you've got money in there. Um, you ain't got access to it. And uh, this is kind of one of those things where you rely on the FDIC to pay you back, but they got 99 years to pay you back. So it's questionable whether you'll ever see that money again. So this is a big economic indicator for pretty much everybody. I mean, if it can happen to one of the top 20 banks in the country, it could probably happen to your bank, too. So, what do we do about it? Well, I can tell you what I do, and I'm not a financial advisor in the same financial advice, but if I was you, or... You know, if I was me, uh, I keep a fairly substantial amount of my savings in gold and silver. Um, I also keep a couple months of cash on hand for bills. On hand. Um, I keep just enough in my bank account to pay bills that come out automatically. No more, no less. And I try to put any excess funds into tangible goods. Things that I know I'm going to use and need. Like, I don't know. <sighs> no, I'm, I'm kidding on that. I don't actually pay for firewood. I go out and cut it myself. But if you can't do that, then... Oh, hey, there it is. Anyhow, this is kind of these times that we've been talking about, you know. Things are getting pretty bad financially, and I don't believe I see any way out of it. You know, we have a hundred-year cycle going on. And a hundred years ago, you had an illness, and then a depression, and then a global war. Well, we've already had the illness, we're going into the depression, and our lead, our, I hate calling them our leaders, our representatives are just chomping at the bit trying to send Americans overseas in another global conflict. If you want to know what's going to happen in the future, look to the past. Because if you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And too many people either don't know their history or they know it and they just don't care and they make the same dumbass mistakes over and over again. Don't be one of them. We see what's happening. We see the writing on the wall. Do what you gotta do to protect yourself. You guys got something out of this. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you later.